Hi viewers, welcome back to another wonderful episode of Carnatic Music. Everybody is invited. In the previous episode, I spoke to you about Kritis and I also sang the very beautiful Kriti in Dharmavati composed by Dandapani Deshikar. And uh, yes, as you know me by now, it's, it's a personal favorite and I so enjoyed uh, singing that uh, Kriti for you. And I also told you that I will talk to you more about that Kriti and Kritis in general. Uh, but I would like to take a small detour and instead talk to you about the Raga in which it is set. I told you it is Dharmavati. So why don't we take off from there? Because when I realized that this was in Dharmavati and I had already introduced you to three Melakartas, with Dharmavati now it becomes four, I thought why not I talk to you about why we say there are 72 Melakartas. What is so magical about the number 72? It could have been 71, it could have been 73. So why is it 72? I thought in this episode, I will tell you why we say there are 72 Melakartas and after that we will go into this Dharmavati Kriti in greater detail and Kritis in general. There is so much that I need to talk to you about it. But first, let us start with Dharmavati Raga. Now, what is it you see on the Raga board? Sa, you know, Re2, G1, M2, P, D2, N2 and S, the higher S. So, I will now sing it for you. Sa, Re, Ga, Ma, Padani, Sa. By now you know that Melakartas, it, when the notes go up, the same notes come down. So it's mirror image, we know that. So this is Dharmavati for you. Now, what are the other Melakartas? We know by now. Maya Malavagaula, Sarasangi. Where did we see these two ragas? We saw it uh, while, uh, you know, I introduced uh, the concept of the Raga world to you. Maya Malava Gaula, the family photograph, Janyas, remember? The, so that is Maya Malava Gaula. I told you that it is an M1 Raga. Remember, I substituted uh, the Madhyamam and then we arrived at Pantuvarali. I told you they are neighbours where the M alone is different. So, M1 Ragas, we have Maya Malava Gaula and then Sarasangi. These are two Ragas that we know of. Now, what about M2 Ragas? Pantuvarali, you know. I have now introduced Dharmavati to you. So, what should this mean? I have written M1 Ragas on one side and M2 Ragas on the reverse to tell you that these two are parts of the same whole. As in, M1 constitutes one half and M2 constitutes the other half of the entire group of Melakartas. What should that mean? We will put it in numbers. If I say there are 72 Ragas, that is 72 Melakarta Ragas, it means we will have 36 M1 Ragas. Just by 2, 72 by 2. And so we have 36 M2 Ragas. Now the question is, how do we arrive at this magical number 36? The moment we arrive at the magical number 36, into 2 we get 72. So now let us try and arrive at this magical number 36. So what do we do for that? Here we have some notes. So we know that Melakartas have one variant of each of the notes. So now what do we do? Let us you know, try and understand it by first addressing Sa. Sa is there in all the Ragas. So, Sa is there. Now, Pa is also there in all the Ragas. So, we put Pa here. For now, we will remove the higher Sa because we know that it is just the start of the next octave. So, let us just not use it for now. And now, we have M, M1, M2, two M's and so, we are putting one of the M's here. Now, come the main uh, heroes or heroines of our story, the Riga and Dani. Now, that is where our number game starts. So, what do I do now? I have to bring in the variants that are not there. Remember, we started with Dharmavati. R2 was there, 
I am bringing back R1. G1 was already there. Now here comes its friend G2. I put G2 back. Now what about Da and Ni? D2 was there. I am bringing D1 back. N2 was there. So here is our N1. I brought N1 back. Now starts the real number game. So I am sure you must have kind of grasped the point that the number 36 we arrive based on these group of nodes and these group of nodes. Because remember the ma is the same ma across 36 ragas. Sa and pa are there for all the 72. So it's fine. So our game is only in these four nodes and these four nodes. Now how do we make it simpler? For now, we will take away the notes. We will bring them back at a later point. But for now, I am not going to talk to you about notes. Let's talk maths for a while. Why are we always talking music? Yeah, let's talk maths for a while. Okay. Four objects. Here, I have four pens. I can use four pens to explain. Just four ball pens I just picked up from a stationery shop. I can explain it using four sketch pens. I just pulled it out from a set of 12 sketch pens or tea lamps, what I like very much. It looks lovely when you put it, uh, you know, in that golden colored urli with water and then these lamps when they float, they look amazing. I can explain it with this also because it's maths, it's not notes, it, it's not music, it's maths. I can use any of these. What do I want to use? I want to tell you the story of four friends. So I am putting all these objects on this side. Four friends, A, B, C and D. We have four friends. These four friends like to hang out together. They go for coffee together. They go for lunch. They go for breakfast. Everything. I mean, they, they just love to hang on together. But what's happened today? Something dramatic has happened. There is a Carnatic music kacheri. Do you know what's happened? There are only two tickets available. And only two of them can go. Now the point is, who is going to go? Which pair is going to go for the Carnatic music concert? They are good folks, yeah. they are not going to fight with each other. But why don't we understand how many pairs are possible? A can go with B. A can go with C. A can go with D. Three options. Okay, all A, A's options are over. Okay, now we will put A to this side. B and C can go together. B and D can go together. Okay, B and A already we made that pair, remember. So, we will put B on this side. C and D can go together. So, what are the six options that we saw? First, I will tell you. We saw six options. I hope you noticed it. So, when it is A and B together, we will start putting numbers. That will make the concept really, really clear. Let's, it's okay. Let these notes remain. It's okay. Okay. I told you it's maths, but it's music also. Nice. Okay. So, A and B, option 1. Then, we go A and C. What is that option? Option 2. Next, we go A and D. And what is that option? Option 3. 1, 2, 3. Now, A's role is over. So, now we start. B and C go together. What is that option? That should be our option 4. Right? Now, B and D go together. And this should be option 5. This is option 5. What is our final option? C and D go together. And that is our option 6. You know what Nipun tells me? Nipun tells me that this concept is called 4C2. And it is supposed to be uh, a very uh, interesting and uh, you know one of the very useful concepts of uh, maths. We did, uh, what I said sounds like a uh, you know a tenth or eleventh standard permutations and uh, combinations uh, question. No, like uh, there are four friends uh, they want to go for a concert. They have two tickets. How many uh, different options uh, uh, are possible? Uh, you know exactly sounds like a maths paper question. So what have we now seen? We used four people and. There were six options in which they could be paired as in made into groups of two. Now, let us come to music.
Now again, I am not going to use R1, R2 or G1, G2 because I want to make it simpler. So what am I going to do? Yes, these are building blocks which kids play. I am using building blocks to just highlight the point to you that the notes are, there is a gradation, right? There is an increase in the tonality. R1 to R2, there is an increase. R2 to G1, there is an increase. G1 to G2, there is an increase. Which is why I have used this. Now, just see. Option 1. Option 2. Option 3. I have told you three ways in which notes could combine using the first note. I am putting the first note away. Option 4. Option 5. Okay. I am putting this away. Option 6. Using four notes which are gradually increasing. We were able to come up with six pairs. So, now, now we'll come back to our here in this point where there are four nodes which are in the increasing order. We have one, two, three, four, five, six options. Okay. Now, after pa, what comes? Da and ni come. So now, A, B, C, D friends, it applies here also. Who said it applies only to R1, G1 uh, or R2, G2? I told you that it's a maths concept. So what applies to R and G applies to da and ni also. Da and ni are slightly higher nodes. So why should I use the same blocks? We'll use bigger blocks. The bigger blocks also tell us that D and ni are having a higher tonality than the R and G. So here, I have four more blocks and using these four more blocks, I don't have to repeat. These are again four combinations. Again, it will pair like this, like this, like this. We will arrive at six more options. Now, what are those six options? Shall we put it in numbers? Of course, yes, we will put it in numbers. We have one, we have two, we have three, and then we have four, and then we have five, and then we have six. So, six options of da and ni, and six options of ri and ga. These are the options that are possible. Now what happens? Assume, I take out option 1. Option 1 of re and ga. Okay. If I am taking option 1 of re and ga, it can combine, we can create a raga with the first option of da and ni. See, I have used the first option of re and ga, okay, with the first option of da and ni. The second option of da and ni for the same first option of re and ga. The third option. See, every time I am substituting the node, I am creating a new raga. Are you able to see? See, it is sa, this is one riga. And then it is ma, it is pa. First da ni, second da ni, third da ni, fourth da ni, five, fifth da ni and sixth da ni. So, for one riga, I have six ragas that are possible. For six rigas, I am not able to take everything in my hand. You get the picture. For six such ragas, how many ragas are possible? Six into six, which comes to 36. Right? Haven't we arrived at 36? All these 36, I was telling you with M2. 
Where is M1? Let's find M1 now. M1 is there in my basket. Don't worry. It's not run away anywhere. If I put M1, same story cut and paste. Okay? The same thing, same thing. Raga option number 1. I can create with Raga option number 1. 2, 3. Again another 36. 36 plus 36, 72. That is the logic behind having 72 Melakartas. And this is the most wonderful mathematical system that I have ever come across. We say music is something that touches the soul. But look at Carnatic music. It is so mathematical. It is so scientific. It is so logical. And it is so amazing. I'll stop here for now. Hope you enjoyed watching, watching this real mathsy episode. More about Kritis and a lots and lots of Kritis in the next episode. Bye for now. You were watching Carnatic music. Everybody is invited.